Ladies and gentlemen, the sun has now found its home in the western sky, and it is Saturday night in Tiger Stadium, home of the LSU Tigers, one of the great venues in college football. Today, a couple of SEC teams get ready to square off in what ought to be an old-fashioned slobber knocker. As we'll see, the Vanderbilt Commodores taking on the 13th-ranked team in the land, the LSU Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Commodores will get us underway with the opening kickoff. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Tigers' offense will get the first possession of the game. There he is, the man who makes everything go, and they believe they're going to score every time they touch it when he's on the field, Jesse. He plays with unbelievable confidence, Reese. Always knows where to go with the football. The entire playbook is at this guy's disposal. Yeah, which is so much fun for a coach, so much fun to play with him, a guy that can do everything. Everybody on the field is active in a weapon. Got three on first down in second and seven. Looking to pass. It's Nussmeyer. Throws to the wideout. Got his man. That one could really put this drive into high gear as they have a first down at the 37. Well, LSU receivers are known for their swagger. That is swagger well earned after that one. Uh, you go outside and you make plays like, listen, you have swag, you have confidence, and you usually get a little bit loud, Reese, and be like, listen, feed me the rock. So many great LSU receivers in the past, and it's because of that swag. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you. You feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up. And usually, they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. During the week, you got to talk to your quarterback. Quarterback, what do you like? What's your favorite, safest routes, easiest reads? Love coming out with those early with the short passing game. Third down after the run. They'll try to get the first through the air. Gets it out quickly. He's got enough to move the chains, and they'll spot it at the 47. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most. No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Unloads to the wideout. He makes a catch. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Throwing the comeback looks like such a simple throw, but the timing is so important. And as a quarterback, man, this is all about trusting your guy. You know exactly where he's going to sit it down. You anticipate it. You throw it. You know he's going to come back and make that play for you. They keep attacking through the air. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Looked like the offense had a chance for a big play there, but the running back just could not reel that ball in. Second and ten after the previous play. Looking for a man. It's Nussmeyer. Find his man down the middle. What we do coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a rhythm. They'll come to the line for the eighth snap on this opening drive, facing a third and short. Looking to throw for it. Throws for the tight end. A strike downfield. Makes a catch with defenders everywhere. And now the defense backed up with a first and goal from the five. 
perfect timing to call that pass play. It's third and short down here in the red zone. Everybody in the stadium expecting you to run the football, and if you don't get it, maybe you kick a field goal, maybe you go for it on fourth. You don't have to worry about that now because of the pass completion, it's first and goal. Turning to the running game on first and goal. And he'll get this one back to the line of scrimmage, but no farther than that. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. Can the D deny them on second and goal? He'll run it to the middle, looking for the end zone. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Tigers! What a quick start for this offense, putting up points on the first drive. And that's got to feel good, Reese. You've been practicing all week. You've been practicing against the looks you were anticipating to see from this defense. You get those looks. You're able to come out. You run the ball. You throw the ball. And this offense right now is in a groove early. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT makes it 7-0. So a drive there of 82 yards, and they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. So Vanderbilt's offense will try to get something going with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. Not able to hook up there, incomplete. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long. Balls at the 25. Scanning the field. It's Carter. They're bringing heat. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. Great job by the defense dialing up some pressure on third down. They hit the quarterback and forced the incompletion. The Commodores line up to punt it away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. He'll bring it back. It's Thomas. The coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Running back searching for a hole. And midfield, he's got room. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. Man, this guy is so scary when he has the ball in his hands. He kind of reminds me, he's got a little bit of Leonard Fournette. He's got a little bit of Clyde Edwards and Lair, you know, just that shake and bake. And when they get in the second level, DBs just don't seem to know how to tackle this guy. You don't want to submarine. He might hurdle over you, but, it, but if you don't go in with conviction, then he's got the speed to get outside and take it the distance. This dude just makes your heart stop every time he has the ball. Just what this offense was looking for. Sets him up at the 26 with the first down. Death Valley has a well-earned rep of being intimidating. It is nice to be the quarterback to have everything on your side. And have everything quiet. It's the loudest place by far that I ever played. I mean, for an entire game, they are on their feet, yelling, screaming. Now listen, we can't play all the words they're yelling, Reese, but they are an intimidating crowd. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. 
Yeah, exactly. And you know, coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play action pass later in this game and get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Quick completion to the right. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route running. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots and zones. you got to get him involved. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. They'll try to get it through the air. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Got to give the defense credit on that play. Taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? Fourth down and one and they'll go for it. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Makes the grab. So close to that end zone. He can almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now a fresh set of downs. So now with first and goal, let's see what LSU does here. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Yeah, and I, and I love running the football down the red zone. You've got to be able to do it. And first down, obviously, is the right down to do it. But now, limits the options a little bit more. Second down after that loss of yards play. And lost ground on first down. Now second and goal from the five. The run up the middle trying to steamroll his way in. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. Keeping it on the ground on third and goal. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Man, it has been a long drive offensively. I just feel like you've got to pay this off and be aggressive. You're down close. Punch it in for a touchdown here, Pollard. Yeah, and inside the three-yard line, I think I might try to finish this off with a touchdown. I ate up a ton of clock, wore these guys out. Now they'd have to go the length of the field if I missed. Didn't make them sweat at all. It's good. And now the lead is extended a little far. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut them down. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Paul. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves them with second and four. Looking for a man. It's Carter. Finds the tight end. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open, because you've got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. 
After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Now the play fake. Fires to the wideout. And they're not on the same page there. And how nice is it to have the home crowd going absolutely bananas? Communication is harder. The, the snapping the football, everybody being on time. Man, this crowd really affecting the football. Better find the air plugged. Here comes the noise backing this defense on third down. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. And those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. Looking for a block, it's Thomas. Cover guys do their job, and they get him stopped at the 22-yard line. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. And to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse, they'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. LSU right back to the line. Back to throw, it's Nussmeyer. Just a short pass to the tight end. Put it right on him, sweet play, good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. And LSU starting to get that passing attack cranked up. And, and this is a unit that typically LSU is as good as they are at quarterback. We know they're going to be physical. We know they got athletes all over the field. But when they get really good quarterback play, those teams are really special. They'll keep it on the ground to the right. Not much there on the run. He gets one to the 31. Guys, LSU has the lead here. They largely dominated this first quarter as indicated by the stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period and they try to find a way to answer. He's back to throw on second down. The short hands, it's Daniels. And a nice grab with a defender right on him and he's down at the 20. All right, defense, it ain't working. Right? They're stringing together several first downs here. We're gonna need to change this up, find something we can disrupt the quarterback and, and mess up this offense a little bit. LSU with the first and 10 here. From the gun, the running back has it. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Quick release by the QB. Touchdown, Tigers! Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. Look, it's still early, but we have some real distance being put on the scoreboard right now. You do. It's early, but you got to find something positive. Right now, everything going in the other direction. So how are you going to respond when you've been hitting the mouth early in this football game? Got to find something positive quick. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finished it off with a 14-yard run for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. 
Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. They've got nothing done so far, and they already find themselves in a three-possession hole, Jesse. Yeah, and as a head coach, you're wondering, what didn't I say? What didn't I do to get my team ready to go? Because we look like we're sleepwalking at this point, Dave. Yeah, nothing went well in the first quarter. You just say refresh. Like, let's try to find a way now, chip into this lead, try to make it somewhat manageable when you get to the half. And the Commodores want to pick up the tempo. On the run, it's Alexander. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. To the air. It's Carter. Quick strike complete. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. Up tempo for the offense. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. Yeah, I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? The Commodores will punt this one away. He'll call for the fair catch here. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. It's first down from their own 23-yard line. Leaves it with the running back. Rumbles ahead for a pickup of five to the 29. And after having a nice game like that on first down, for the offensive coordinator here, maybe you're thinking about being aggressive and taking a shot. Because even if it's incomplete on second down, on third, you won't have that long to go. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. He's got a yard out to the 30-yard line. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. To the air, it's Nussmeyer. Got it set up on the outside. And they stop him just short of the stick. It'll bring up a decision on fourth down. Hey, really nice job on defense, too. Understanding the situation. It's third down. We're fine giving up completions right there, but we're not giving up the first down. We're keeping the football and the ball carrier in front of us, and we're tackling the catch. Awesome job, and now you've set up fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. They just haven't been able to get anything going, and they better get started or it's going to get away from them, David. Yeah, and these are the weeks that you really wish that you were playing a video game, and you could just reset the console, start over, Jesse, and make something better happen early. They just look like they're sleepwalking in this first half, and it's not just one guy. They, they just haven't been playing collectively as a unit and if I'm the head coach I'm considering starting to give some other dudes some chances here not the most productive half for this offense so far but finally starting to get it in gear first and ten they'll run it out of the shotgun they bring him down and he's gonna lose a yard on that one and a great job by the linebacker. You can tell, starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. 
lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Moves away as he feels pressure. The quarterback bought as much time as he could, but the defense got to him and sacked him. Man, come on now. O-line, you got to take care of your quarterback. He takes care of you. He's the one who takes you to meals. He's the one to get you those NIL deals. Everything happens through your quarterback. you got to keep him upright. That is your number one priority. And whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. Safe completion on the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. You gotta love that. On defense, one of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. whoop do you do You've set up fourth and long. You're gonna get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. And he will boom that punt out of bounds. No chance for a return. Let's see where the officials spot it. Grab behind the line. It's Ingram. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. Here comes the offense on second down. On the option. And now on the pitch, the ball's loose. How about that alert play from the defense to scoop it up? And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. They go to the ground. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. And this defense is a half a beat behind. They just can't quite keep up. They've got it down to the 21. Man, that's excellent blocking there on the left side of the line. They were able to get great push, get off the line, create a little bit of crease for that running back. They just created a wall. He had all kinds of room to run. Yeah, I might, I might go back to that one and call that one again. It worked so well. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Knocked down, but not before he crossed into the red zone and picked up four yards down to the 17. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Back to pass, it's Carter. He's got it on the run. He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. That receiver found the open space in the zone coverage, and as a defense, honestly, you just throw your hands up on that because they covered it pretty well. It was just a good play call, really nice execution. And the Commodores are threatening on first and goal. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. to the house when they found that six points waiting on him. It's a much needed life from this offense as they tried to cut away at this lead. No doubt. Needed something to go right. You're, you're down. you got to make plays. you got to get your team back in it. Great start. Keep chipping away. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. The give to the back. He tried to find some running room, but they get him stopped. How about the defender? Be 
being a heat-seeking missile. He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Give to the running back. Knocked down after picking up five out to the 24. It's just a simple power play. Power football. Be strong. Be big. Be physical. Make it a fourth quarter game. Make them feel you. Keep them off balance. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Back to pass. It's Nussmeyer. He makes the connection. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously, the politically correct answer. But you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. They knock him down right there. If you're going to stop the run game, you better be physical up front on the defensive line. They've got some ballers. They've got some dudes with bad intentions. Nice play there. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. From the shotgun, the inside give. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. I know that wasn't a big, huge play, and everybody's not excited, and the fans aren't going crazy, but those are the plays that in the fourth quarter matter a lot. Again, making you tackle my back, making you feel the physicality of the football game throughout so you get tired and get worn down in the fourth quarter. Now on third down for this offense. From the gun, wants to pass. With the catch, it's Ingram. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And after that pitch and catch, he's already over 200 yards, and we're in the first half, Jesse. Man, Reese, he's dialed in right now. He's really doing a nice job seeing the field, reading coverages, and finding his open guy. Throws to the wideout. Got it in the middle. It's Thomas. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. They're looking to pass from the red zone. Let's it fly. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. This defense doesn't even have a chance to blink after just giving up an explosive play. You get lined up, and all of a sudden, they're throwing it over your head again into the end zone. They better get ready, lined up. I'd expect another shot coming up. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Looking to throw, it's Nussmeyer. Out of the backfield, he's open. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. Offense calls a timeout here. Critically important to make sure they have the right play called and everyone on the same page here. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Looking to throw for it. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive. And I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. Right on target the first time. Now he'll try another from 24 yards out. Splits the uprights. It's good. And that lead grows even bigger. So they put the field goal on the board and about to kick it away and hoping that will be the final point of this first half. 
He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be concerned. If we're a little bit down, listen, I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here, we're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum, score some points before going into halftime. Quickly complete. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Wow, this offense is doing nothing. They've already punted four times and staring at the possibility of a fifth. On third and short, they'll try to convert through the air. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. The Commodores have it with a first and ten. He wants to throw. He tries to take the top off. It's complete. A huge pickup. Plenty of room on that play, and they find their way to the 36. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play, and I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. That kind of play will put a jolt into a drive. It's first and 10 from just inside the 40. Quickly to the tight end. The offense calls timeout, and they won't have any more left this half. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy game. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots. Throws for the end zone. And just too much on that pass. Too high, too wide, out of bounds and incomplete. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved. And I'm on defense because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication. And it can really rattle an offense. Looking to throw, it's Carter. Coming after it. And the defense wraps up the first half by taking it to the quarterback and getting the sack. we played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like we've got a terrific game from there in Death Valley. And we'd be remiss if we didn't start this halftime report by acknowledging the sparkling play of this tight end. The guy's like an aircraft carrier out there as a blocker. And then when he releases and shows off that speed and route running, he's almost unguardable got to believe he won't be able to go anywhere in this second half without someone attached to his hip. With that said, let's send it back to the guys in Baton Rouge. LSU ready to boot it away and open this second half. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. If they're going to get on top in this game, they're going to have to find a way to get the running game going in the second half. Agree. So it can create some more balance, some more unpredictability. I feel like this defense has got a good beat on what they're doing, especially if they don't mix it up a little bit. So I do look for a little second half running the football palm out of this group. And I think the thing, Dave, is they just got to be more physical. I don't think this is a scheme question about trying different run plays. I think it's up to the big fellas up front. They've just got to make the decision that they're going to be tougher here in the second half so that they can win this game and he was loose and in the open field and on his way a tremendous pickup on that one because the QB anticipated that core route so well he got it to his receiver early against zone coverage he had space to work with after he caught the ball he was able to make a guy miss move the chains Coming out on first down with the play fake. 
unloads to the wideout. Can't make the grab. Quarterback just missed him a little bit. Well, give the defense credit because they're forcing this quarterback to throw into very small windows under duress. They'll line up for a second down play. Wants to throw. It's Carter. Fires to the wideout. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hands. Ooh, there's, there's an example, Jesse, of a receiver making his quarterback look bad. Most of the time, you make it look good and cover up for him. All those balls y'all don't throw online, but oof, that would hit him in a pretty good spot. He needs to come down with that one. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. Oh man, another incompletion. That's three in a row. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, they're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end. You're expecting them to punt. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. Was looking for more running room and found nothing but more tacklers. He's down at the 24. Catch in the middle. It's Thomas. He's brought down solid. Pick up but a little bit short of the first down. Yeah, and what a nice job seeing it, reacting and throwing. When you run these RPOs, you want to read the defense really quickly. Is he playing run? Okay, boom. I'm going to throw the slant right behind him. Nice job by the QB. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. He's looking for an open man on second down. He lost one down the sideline. Oh, goes right through his hands, and he will think about that one for a while. It'll be third down. Man, those are frustrating because you know you're supposed to catch that. You're supposed to secure it. It's going to happen, but it's just frustrating for those receivers. Just tap the chest. My bad, dog. Couldn't pick it up on second down. Now they need a couple on third down. To the ground to try to move the chains. Able to work it to the 39-yard line, and that'll be a first down. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south, get a first down, get a new set of downs. LSU getting set on first and ten. Right back to the well. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. He'll pull it on the read. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense understanding, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. Throws to the wideout. He can't make the catch. He was open on the crossing round. Instead, they're facing a fourth down. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. Looks as if LSU will line up to punt it away. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. Gets it out fast. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. And here comes the offense on second down. Off the play thing. Unloads to the wide out. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? 
But when you're throwing these comeback routes, man, the timing has got to be so good between the two of them because you know the ball is going to be in the air a long time. You can't throw it late. It's going to get picked. That time, really nice job getting it out early and the receiver doing a nice job on his route so that the ball was right on him as soon as he turned around. Holds and fires complete to the right. And that will go backwards. A negative play and that defense on high alert that time. I mean, getting suffocated right away. How about the DB? Just seeing that initially, pulling the trigger, getting to him, get him on the ground, get the tackle for all this. Offense gets set for second down. Back to throw, it's Carter. Pressure coming. Nowhere to go with the ball, and down he goes at the 39. The defense coming up big there. The sack is great, but the secondary deserves some credit, too. No doubt. When you can cover like that in the secondary and drop back in your zone and only rush a few, and you feel comfortable getting home, and they're going to get to the quarterback, that is a great feeling, and that's fun to be a defensive coordinator calling the plays. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. A little screen to the running back. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks, and you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. They'll go with the running game on fourth down here. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on downs. Offense set on first down. They'll run the option. He'll toss it. A collision, and he stopped at the 27 after picking up one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. What a hit by the defender. That's a good throw, and that was going to be caught. But how about the defender dislodging the football from its intended target? Nice job. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. To throw, it's Nussmeyer. They're working that left side. He'll have enough to move the chains. It's first down at the 38. Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it, and the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. Yeah, and a really good job by the defender. Understand the ball's coming. I got to break on it and go and not try to intercept it and make a bad play. He swats it down and makes sure that's an incompletion. Maybe a little frustrated after that last incompletion. It's second and 10 from the 38. Out of the gun, the inside give. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. They plow ahead with the run, but still more ground needed to pick up the first down. Third down coming. They'll try to run for it. The Tigers pick up the first down. You've got to have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. And the Tigers are marching down the field. One back in the backfield, he gets to carry. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. The inside handoff. On the move at the 
30. Can anyone catch it? And how much running room have they been able to find just all day? They are piling up unbelievable rushing stats. Great execution by this offense. The running game coming through perfect fashion. Breaks the big run. Finishes inside the 10. And they do a great job of blocking downfield with their wide receivers, too. And all of a sudden now, this offense knocking on the door. They'll run it on first and goal. Snowed under after a pickup of two. They'll mark it at the eight. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He caught it! Crisp execution in the passing game, and they've got it down to the three. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Quarterback on the keeper. Touchdown, LSU! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. This is like having an extra running back in your backfield. This quarterback is magic. When he decides to keep the football, he can make people look absolutely silly. He shows you on that play. And they'll try to tack on two. They'll run the option. Now the pitch. He's got the two-point conversion, and they build on that lead. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive and close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. They're lining up to boot it away. And here's the return. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession. Again, the offense is going to have to score, and Jesse probably score pretty quickly. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. They'll try the run. Out across the 20 to the 21-yard line, a three-yard gain. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. And with that effort, they pick up a fresh set of downs. They have it at the 34-yard line. It's so hard for a defense to have to stop plays like that because it really forces you to play with great eye discipline. You see the pre-snap motion. Defense doesn't know if he's just running across the field and he's going to run a route, if he's going to block, or if he has the football. That time, he was able to outflank the defense and hurt them to get that first down. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. you got to have that defense you know you can go to in running situations. Your base defense where you say, okay, this is where I'm going to start, and I'm going to stop the run, stuff it up front. My guys play big up front. Then if I need to add some blitzes to it later on down the road, I can. But great job in the base defense making a play. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Great job by the quarterback thrown against zone coverage. You cannot telegraph where you're throwing the football. You cannot eyeball wide receivers. So great job by the quarterback using his eyes, not staring down his guy, and then throwing him open. Dropping back, it's Carter. It's complete on the right side. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. 
Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Grab behind the line. It's Livingston. There to make the stop, and we played three in this one. Guys, LSU has the lead here, and they've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we've gotten here. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. So after the first down run, here's second down. He's looking to throw. Wide open downfield. Touchdown, Vanderbilt. That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running. I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy. The connection between quarterback, wide receiver, you can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they trail by two touchdowns, 28-14. They've got it down to a two-touchdown deficit, trailing by 14 and about to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. How about that blocking up front in that running game last time as they just walked it down for a touchdown, David? And the big boys up front doing their job, opening holes, the backs making plays, everything on the ground on that first drive worked. And we know that this is the identity this coaching staff wants for this team, right? They want to be the most physical team on the field. Let's see if they can keep it up. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no game land. Really good job by the defense. Seeing it, going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It could happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand. Safety's got to see that start flying down, getting ready to play that. Nice job by the defense being ready for that play. Trying to get to it. And the quarterback is snowed under. Anytime a blitz gets home that fast, I'm going to call it a lot, okay? I'm going to use this one time and time again until they find some answers to how we got that linebacker to the quarterback that fast. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. Looking downfield, it's Nussmeyer. Got his man quickly. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Well, that time on third and long, they just took what the defense gave him. Nothing down the field. They were hoping maybe he could make somebody miss after the catch. Wasn't able to do it, so now it sets up fourth. LSU will bring the punt team on the field. Just needs a crack to get a return. And the punt team able to swing him to the ground. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. They'll run the RPO and throw it right. And a quick completion, an even quicker loss. The defense was right there to knock him down. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up to this point of the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. 
On second down, he'll let it fly. Can't quite make the connection there. Might have let him a little too much. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Got it in the middle, it's Stowers. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. And even though they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, they've got a quarterback that can bring them back, but they need him now to play his A-plus level of football. We saw a nice completion on that last third down. Let's see if he can keep it going. And the Commodores will hustle to the line. Movement here from the tight end. Off the play fake on first down. Using the quick game. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. I'll tell you, this quarterback has just been in a great rhythm all game long. With that last completion, he's now over 300 yards passing. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. Looking to throw, it's Carter. Fires to the wideout. It's caught downfield. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. They think they can impose their will here with the run to the right. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. On the ground, it's Gillespie. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Great job by that defender. I mean, he timed that snap count perfectly, got into the backfield and created the negative play. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Takes it from the gun on third down. Getting some heat. And they can't quite hook up trying to make a completion in the back corner of the end zone. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. So at this point, I expected them to go for it here. Instead, here comes the field goal unit. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage and he'll be stopped at the 17. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Looking downfield, it's Nussmeyer. Feeling some heat. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. He didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell in. Now on third and ten, if they can move the chains here, maybe they can get this drive started. 
From the gun, wants to pass. Got him downfield. All kinds of running room. And he's brought down after a huge completion. He's been so locked in, it seems like any pass called is a guaranteed chunk play. Yeah, and in winning late like this in the ball game, keep trusting, keep spinning. You know why? Because stats matter late in the game. You want some postseason awards? Keep chucking it. Keep getting those stats. They'll give it to the back. Relying on that running game, and it works for about three yards to the 31. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Looking to throw on second down. Unloads to the wideout. He almost had the pick, and that could have given them a boost. Instead, it'll be third down. Ooh, you're living dangerously now. You've got the lead late in the game. Don't do anything to turn it over. They almost did throwing it there. If I'm the head coach now, I'm thinking, man, let's just run the ball. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. And this kicker has had a busy night. The field goal unit is out there for the third time. And this one is anything but routine. A 48-yard attempt from the right hash. And this one splits the uprights. And they'll push that lead out a little further. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. Throws to the wideout. He's got it. At the 45 on his way. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. They'll go to the ground. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this deep tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Back to throw. It's Carter. Setting up the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. You're going to win this game. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Lofts one high and deep. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. And the defense is playing with a sense of urgency right now. Obviously, they're playing with the lead. They know this offense needs to find a way to generate points, expecting a shot on that last play. So nice job in coverage. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. He's got a first down and maybe a lot more. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there.
The Commodores headed quickly to the line. The aerial assault continues. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. And here comes play number six of the drive. It's a draw. Blast his way ahead, but not much room. A pickup of one to the 24. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance when you got that 300 plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. The defense is going to need one more stop. This is the game right now. You just got one on that last run play, setting up fourth down. Do you bring pressure? What are we doing defensively here to make sure that we can get off the field and win this game? On fourth down, going to the air. Throws toward the end zone. And the pass is incomplete, but there is a flag on the field. Let's see if the offense gets a reprieve. So the offense accepts the roughing the passer penalty, and they get a new set of downs. They'll run it. It's Alexander. Works his way ahead for about three. It's down at the eight. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They'll run play action. They're trying to get to it. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. Well, the problem for this offense now late in the game, trailing by a bunch of points, is that the defense knows they're going to throw the football. And right now, offensively, they cannot protect the edge. You saw the speed coming from the outside. He was able to get to the quarterback for another negative play. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. And he was looking to the end zone, and they couldn't make the connection. And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard to execute, especially when the field starts to shrink. But the good news is, they got a field goal in their back pocket. Down by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. Let's it fly deep downfield. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. They want that clock to run. Good vision and determination there to find his way up to the 23. And the running back there did everything that he's coached to do, right? They've got the lead late in this game. You've got to stay in bounds. You're finding yards. It's a positive run, but you're not going out of bounds. Really well done. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Now on second down. He'll do it himself. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. This is a big third down. If they can move the chains, they can just about salt this game away. The gift to the back. And the defense had its hands full, but they finally wrestle him down short of the first down. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Looks as if LSU will line up to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. Looking for a productive play on first down. Dropping back, it's Carter. 
Oh, he had it right down the middle, and he just squirted it right through his fingers, and they missed an opportunity for a nice play on first down. And now on second down for this offense. Wide receiver coming across in motion. On second down, wants to throw. He wants a big play here late. Makes the grab down the left side. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. How great is it to have a running back who can basically run your entire route tree? You don't see a lot of guys line up and then run vertically down the field, get open, and make a big play. This dude is special. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. Got it! And he's into the end zone! Touchdown, Vandy! And listen, still a ways to go, but great job by this offense getting you back in the ball game. Now, we got a one-possession game. We got our score. We did what we're supposed to do. Now, how do we get this stop? Now, the defense has to come up big and get me the rock back. Lining up to add another. And the extra point draws them closer. It's 31-24. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they close the deal with a 20-yard pass for six. Trailing by a touchdown here in the fourth. They'll try to get it back with the onside kick. Cool as a cucumber as the hands team makes a sure catch. The offense lining up for a first down play. Happy with the situation, the quarterback will take a knee. 